In Machinery Minute, Precision Ag is all the buzz, but truth be told, not as many farmers are utilizing these high-tech tools as one might expect. A new report from the USDA says adoption of most high-tech systems still sits below 50%. The USDA economists looked at the use of things like variable rate applicators, GPS maps, and yield monitors over 10 years. At the top of the list are yield monitors. Just less than 50% of corn and soybean acres are harvested using them. Adoption is even lower for other systems. In the Corn Belt, GPS maps and variable rate technology were used on 24% of corn acres in 2005 and just 17% of soybeans in 2006. The adoption of guidance systems like auto steer is showing some of the strongest trends. By 2009, roughly 35% of wheat producers were using that system on the farm. As we've been reporting, exports of U.S. agricultural products continues to be a bright spot in the U.S. economy, and you can include agricultural machinery. The Association of Equipment Manufacturers says exports of U.S.-made tractors and combines continued to grow in 2011 and ended the first half of the year with a gain of 15%. AEM data shows South America took delivery of $579 million worth of U.S. agricultural equipment, an increase of 56% from a year ago. Asia's export purchases gained 13%. Australia grew 20% and exports to Europe gained 19%. Canada remains the top recipient, just shy of $2 billion. That's up 4% from a year ago. From equipment for export to equipment for home, this year at FarmFest we ran into the Wood Miser, a portable sawmill capable of converting downed trees into cabinet grade lumber. The saw comes in different sizes and prices $3,000 for residential to $125,000 for industrial size. Landowners and farmers who are used to processing their crops that they plant kind of neglect the crop that they don't really even have to plant and it grows anyhow and that's the woods and eventually we do have to harvest trees. You know you'd like to think they could grow forever and always be there and just be pretty but they do over mature and need to be thinned and harvested to be utilized before the material goes to waste so everything has been a go green attitude lately so the wood miser portable band mill uses a very thin blade 96 thousandths of material is actually only all that's being converted into sawdust so for every board you see here larger mills or commercial mills will uh, lose one board for every five that we make they'll only make four Stanky says there's always a commercial market for high quality lumber exports from america remain strong the usda is seeking comment